there are just two major things left to do on our site now to get it back to how it was in its Drupal 6 versions. Those are to check and make sure every aspect of our views and panels are back in place. As I noted earlier, we see here that our events view was held over from the site, although it is missing some information. Sometimes this happens and unfortunately it's just kind of one of those things that you have to fix by hand when it pops up. The problem here is that in Drupal 6, we have the title of the event and then the date range of the event beneath the title for every event. Of course, here we have only the titles. So let's go check out this view. We're gonna to go to structure, views, and events is the one that we're working with. We scroll down here, we see that the date field is not there anymore. Sometimes you may also see broken slash missing handler. And that basically means the same thing. It means something was there, but views is unable to recognize it now. Notice that our sort criteria is gone as well. So once again, this can be a pain sometimes, but it does pop up and you really just have to fix it by hand when it does. So we're gonna go back and add a field here. The field was date and it was from the content. We'll apply that. And we did not want a label. We did want both the start and end dates. We'll apply that change. And that wasn't too bad. Sort criteria. We're gonna sort this by date as well. We'll sort it by the start date as we had originally. And we want these in ascending order. We want the sooner ones first and the later ones last. Go down here, look at our preview. That's exactly how it is. DrupalCon with the date. This one comes first because it's in May and then OS Training's Drupal event. We'll save that. And let's go check out the other view that we created. See if there are any problems with it. Here on the views page, that is event info. This is basically the same thing, but it's a list of event previews rather than a list of events. And we are missing another field here. We had the body field originally, and that's gone now. So let's go ahead and add the content body. We had no label for this. We were rewriting the results to trim the field to a maximum length. I believe we had set that at 200 characters. All these other options we kept as they are, and we'll apply these changes. Save that. And this event, or this view rather, now should look appropriate on the pages where it appears. We see that the first view, the events view, is now working the way we expect it to. We just had to re-enter the missing field information. This event info view was used as part of a panel. So before we check out this directly, let's go to panels and make sure that panels held over all of our information. Here's our events and event info panel. We're gonna edit that. And things are looking good so far because it did at least keep the path of our panel and the fact that this panel existed in the first place. Let's go down to content and the panel does say that it's going to be listing the event info block on the left side of the page and the events block on the right side of the page. This is how we had it configured. If you remember, there was a bug with the Drupal 6 version of panels that caused this information not to actually display on the panel page. But regardless of that bug, which kind of complicated things a little bit, we see that the panel did indeed keep all of our information. If you see something here such as missing view or missing field or any sort of message along those lines, that means you do not re-enable the module that allows panels to use views. I'll open that up one more time very quickly to show you. That module is views content panes under the chaos tool suite group. So that's the source of that problem if you come across it. But if you've been following along, everything should be fine. 
And let's check this page out to see if the Drupal 7 version of panels is working properly. If we go back to the summary of the panel, we see once again that the path is event hyphen info after our domain. So we're going to go to our domain slash event hyphen info. And this is great. It is working as it should be on Drupal 7. So here's our panel page. This left column is showing our event info view block. And the right column is showing our events view block. Of course, on larger sites with more views and more panels, this may take a longer time to get everything back in place exactly as you had it in the first place. But for the most part, views and panels do a pretty good job of retaining all of your information from Drupal 6.